Hi sir, I am Private Detective Kanna Aram sir, Inspection Detection Kole Kole sir, All Detective 24 Hour Service sir, 9840839004 sir, thank you sir. Hello everyone, this is Sandarya Adimuthu from The Quint and you are listening to Do I Like It? A Quint production where we review anything and everything under the sun. And in this episode, I will tell you do I like Agent Kanna Aram. Agent Kanhairam is a Tamil remake of Naveen Polishetty's super hit Telugu comedy thriller Agent Sai Srinivasa Atreya. So the expectation for the film was just very high and also because Santanam is the lead star he is one of the best comedians in Tamil industry but then in the last decade he's transitioned from being a comedian to a lead hero and I was instantly excited to see how this funny person we know Santanam was going to elevate an already existing humorously wrapped crime story. But I have to start with a disclaimer. I'm not a choosy person, but I do have my preferences. You know, if what I receive meets my expectations, I'm very happy. However, I'm also open to some surprises. And hence when I watched Agent Kanairam, it surprised me, but not as pleasantly as I imagined it to be. But before we get into the actual review of the film, let me remind you Yeah go hit subscribe to the Quince YouTube channel and follow us on all podcast streaming platforms and also go search for Soundarya at the Quint and read all of my articles I know it's not part of the script but please excuse okay coming back the story revolves around Kanairam who's born out of wedlock and because of this he's facing a lot of discrimination as a child he then grows up and becomes a rookie detective solving small time crimes in the neighborhood However, as an adult he is still disturbed by the traumatized memories of, you know, the troubled relationship with his mother. And one fine day he gets embroiled in a very big case which has a connection with his dead mother. And that's where the entire story kicks off. The film kind of delves into religious crimes, you know, that are committed by exploiting people's faith, beliefs and superstitions. Okay, let's start with what really worked for me in the film. The Tamil remake Agent Kanairam is a polished version of the Telugu original. In a way, you know, it was mounted stylishly with beautiful aesthetics. You know, a lot of effort has visibly gone into cinematography, which is extremely commendable. Very interestingly angled shots, they're all very captivating. And secondly, contrary to the expectation that you have about Santanam, right? Because he's a comedian, he's he's definitely going to make you laugh. That's that's what your idea of, you know, watching a Santanam film is. But in this film, he kind of breaks all those stereotypical image that you have of him. He scores better as an actor than as a comedian in Agent Kanairam. He explores this emotional side of him. He kind of does it with so much of sincerity that you know you kind of see a very different and a new shade of Santanam. And the third point that I really liked about the film it would be uh, you know music composer Yuvan Shankar Raja's interesting background score. I mean he's on a roll man like we recently saw him in Love Today and it was just damn too good all of his songs were crazy and in this film too he has a very very interesting background score. I guess 3 points are over right? Yeah that's possibly all that I could push for the positives because I couldn't find anything more. Now let me put on a detective cap and find out all that didn't work for me. The Telugu original was a super hit because it was unique. You know, it had equal portions of, you know, both comedy and thriller. Naveen Polishetty was like in his elements, like he was brilliant with his comedic timing. But in Agent Kanairam, though it stars a very super cool Santanam and you know there was some of the quirkiest comedians in Tamil space right now like for instance we had uh, Kukwit Komali fame Pugar uh, we had Munish Kant and we had Redden Kingsley all of them are very very interesting and quirky characters who certainly promise you know hilarious laughter on paper but when it comes to execution do you think that really translated i doubt you know except for a few one liners most of the jokes kind of fell flat and in addition the screenplay wasn't really engaging you know to to keep us hooked to the story the execution i just felt it wasn't up to the mark it just felt like they hastily put together you know a bunch of sequences you know they just shot and they had some footage so they just had to stitch it together and make it look like a film it was it was like that you know it just made me feel like you know the creators burning interest to make this film was kind of extinguished right after they assembled this amazing team now let's talk about the heroine riya suman plays the female lead i think it was heartening to see that 
you know she was she had a real job like she was a documentary filmmaker and not just a mere you know love interest for the hero and that kind of really felt good <laughs> but those good feelings you know just crumble down when you are fed with such a poor lip sync i know she's not a native tamil speaker and of course tamil industry is known for you know welcoming uh, heroines from other states who 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 are not really familiar with tamil but then they are so welcoming and they embrace them with open arms all of that is true but in this film specifically it just felt so out of sync you know often times we just hear the dubbing artist's voice with camera conveniently cutting to reaction shots like without the heroine in the frame but we are supposed to believe that okay the heroine is speaking i mean i was just feeling a little disconnected with that character because half the time i'm not seeing her like speak right because the camera just cuts to another person's face with just voice over running at the back and season actor guru somasundram performs adequately you know even in the very you know short screen presence that he had he he does it fairly well after all this talk do i like agent kanairam uh okay see Ajan Kanairam should have been a great remake for all the promises it made you know with a very intriguing cast a peculiar trailer and it just was just so interesting before i watched the film but after i watched it i just felt like where's the interesting part bro like i don't know they just didn't seem to deliver what they promised and yeah that just brings us to the end of this episode of do i like it Follow us on Instagram at the Quint and tell us what you want us to talk about next week. And check out our website, thequint.com, for more groundbreaking reports and videos. This was Sounderya Adimuthu, and I'll see you in the next one. Do I like it? Is a Quint original podcast hosted by Sounderya Adimuthu, executive produced by Shelly Valia and Ritu Kapoor, produced by Anjali Palod, edited by Pratik Lidhu, uses audio from Agent Kanairam, theme music from BMG Production Music. You were listening to the Quinn's podcast.